کنه بگیره what's going on Dakota Dakota in here TT in here Bree in here mm-hmm. they did all rolled in this motherfucker yes they did one band one sound huh I was, I was asleep, Kiesel. Then when I woke up, I was reading the thing about the play. <laughs> What y'all got going on? Nigga said Sunday was wild. What was our warrant? Oh, Bree, what's going on, Bree? Bree, what's going on? You supposed to call me, let me know what happened. You done got jumped all in front of Wits Inn. <laughs> they told me. Mm-hmm. You ain't want to run that bitch to me. What's going on, Black? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dakota Twin in here. I got North Dakota and South Dakota in here. Keith, don't skip my message. Why you ain't do my promo? Brian, go here with all that. I asked you to send it to me. What's going on? Got a lot of people here. I see what's going on, Nisa Bay. What's going on? Yeah, the city been rolling. Nisa Bay, I ain't know. You and your sister was fighting 2-2 two, two again. Y'all still fighting? I got that T2. I ain't no day. Now, Nisa, you get us on every motherfucking live and be rolling it. You ain't too when you and Tutu and all them are still fighting. You and... What's going on with you and Tutu? Y'all still fighting. Now, we got to make this better. Mardi Gras coming. My big party. This Saturday. Y'all can't come in there acting like heathens with the with them ball gowns on and all of that. Who jumped, bro? Who, Lavelle? You got a lot going on now. You got Dakota. I mean, not Dakota. You got money in, money in on TT fighting. They got mine and TT fighting over the twin out the Calio. Called me last night with it. Then they said to two and the other twins fighting. Needs to bad in them. You know needs to bad. My girls. They say they fighting to two. They fighting. They got a lot of mixing and matching going on in the street. Look at Bree said, yeah, child. Jump and hand out one mark. Yeah, Bree, I ain't know what was going on. I said, now when Bree go outside, Bree be having fun. Bree, they say you sent the hit. They say you told them that TT was outside. I mean, I TT, they say you told them my um mine was outside. And they say they pulled up. I said, well, she only did what a friend was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Viney, please don't start with all that. What's going on, though? Congratulations to Viney. Viney doing her thing with her boudin rolls and all her snacks and all that. Yes, indeed. Y'all got to support Viney. Wait, what Tutu had a what? Oh, yes, Lord. They say Tutu had a fight with the twins. She been fighting them, though. That's my girls. I don't know what's going on. But y'all order y'all boudin balls. Dodash delivery coming soon. That's right, Viney. Boss up, you bitch you. Boss up. No, y'all, I don't need help. Please be positive. I'm okay. That's right. Something going on, Bree. All the car got is windows and ties. They done busted all the windows, including the front one. And they done busted the tires. 
They say they done busted the boy mama ties. What is going on? All right, they're going to need the baddie. You need the bad. I don't know what's going on, but I'm quite sure we're going to find out one way or another what's going on in the city. What's going on? Yeah. I don't know. What's up, Patty? Lisa Bay said, I'm not fight. Oh, there they go. Look at it. Back to back. Twin too much and Lisa Bay. I ain't know y'all was still fighting with Tutu. Y'all had a fight, another fight, huh, girl? I'm just finding out about it. They told me about it. They said y'all to put charges or something on or something. I don't know. Put the stairway on or something going on. I got to get it out. I got to get it out the um. Out the documents. It was too cool to be fighting. Oh, it was too cool to be fighting at the second line yesterday. Yeah, that just didn't make no sense. Old girl with the red on. I don't know why she kept going back. That just didn't make no sense. After she took the road to all up and down the sidewalk, she should have went home after that. I wouldn't have never went back for a second dose. Ah, uh -uh. first time it was shame on me. Second time it was shame on, shame on me too? Nah, we wasn't going to do that like that. We the people of downtown minding our business. I don't know what's going on. I just, the internet been rolling. The internet been rolling. I said, Lord, I got to stay away. I be trying to stay away because the next thing you know, I'm going to be the one getting blamed for it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what be going on, bro. But it is what it is because everybody can jump the beat with. Ooh. Mm -hmm. She went live with Big Fish. If Bree said, I'll say Bree said she went live on her own page. You bad. I don't know what happened. But she did. I did talk to her last night. I ain't gonna lie. Listen, I talked to mine last night. I ain't gonna get on this bitch and lie now. Let me sit up and let's be honest about it. You know, Futcher, you know, Futcher, you my best bitch. Stop acting crazy. I've been so sick of this bitch. Look at I went bought. I went bought one of these. This thing works so good. Look her. And I turns my volume up. On this side of the blanket and make it high. Look, this side of the blanket, make it high. And then I put my other one on this side of the blanket. And Oh, that's why I don't feel nothing because I ain't got it going high. Yeah, I need both sides of these bitches warming up on, up on me now. Yeah, fucking right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. See, y'all got to be opening up the oven and getting the blow dryers and all that. Putting the blow dryer on and putting the heater on and all that. Bitch, all I gotta do is press the button and both sides of this bitch go warm up. What's this they talking about? You know? But yeah, let me tell you. I talked to Miley last night. Yes, I did. First, I'm gonna say her sister, I don't wanna say her sister's name, but her sister was like, Keep please. Take the video down. That's my sister. Mine is say, don't take a motherfucking thing down. Yes, she did. Mine is say, go live about it. Mine is say, but they need to know this. That's my nigga. And I ain't getting up off him. I say, what? She said, that's my nigga and I ain't getting up off him. I say, y'all got to stop. That's how y'all make them dudes get into all that beef and all that. She said, he's sitting right here. He know what the fuck going on. And he, she, he said, we both go go up on that motherfucker. I said, what? Yes, indeed. She said, and for me to let, um, mine said, for me to let Titi know, she pregnant with twins. 
for her man. Girl, it's a time in this New Orleans. <coughs> it's a time in this New Orleans. I look too good to be fighting trash. Oh, there you go. What needs it, man? What needs it? Well, why is you and your sister fighting too, too licious like that? What's going on? Y'all some pretty girl. There, there he go. Spray paint slim. Who, Doobie? Go ahead, Doobie. It's been quiet. No, Doobie, it ain't been quiet. You another one. What's going on? You done learned your lesson, huh? You done learned your lesson, huh? The doors was flying down over there on the Airbnb. Now they out at the restaurant eating, huh? Yes, indeed. I don't know what's going on with that. We got to get into that. I don't know if Mickey caught... Um, I don't know if Mickey caught... Um, man... And um, Bossy Smiles out eating, or if somebody sent the picture, or what. They got some stuff going on. I ain't gonna lie to. I fuck with Mickey, and I fuck with Bossy. I be with Mickey a little bit more, but I fuck with Bossy too. But man, got it going on. Man took Bossy out to eat or something. I got the screenshots. Yes, I do. They got a lot going on. Listen, listen, listen. Ladies, listen. Y'all got to stop claiming these men as your man. Just because you had a baby phone, that don't mean that's your man. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot going on. This is a lot going on on this internet. This is a lot going. There go my nephew. There go my nephew. Y'all look at Black in here. Black told me seven this morning. He said keep fuck the motherfuckers who had something to say about our second line on today. Tell them bitches if they want meet up, we can meet up. I said, there you go for the culture. See what I'm saying? They was wrong for that. They see that they y'all looked like little leprechauns. Second line of yesterday. They see the people, the people of the New Orleans, I was at the second line because I was sick as a dog. I couldn't make it. And um they said the second ever y'all came out there looking like a mess. I thought y'all had on white knee boots. All the while the pants was cut short and the white socks was pulled up. I don't know what was going on. I had to see it when they sent me the screenshots. It was a time. But who was the older lady now? I didn't know who the older I thought the older lady with the little with the little um who had the robe on. Who came out with the little five feathers? I thought that was the queen. They said she was the mother of the second line. I ain't never heard of that before. And then here come the queen with a silver dress on, waving her wine. When I saw that, I had to go use. I had to go urinate. <laughs> when I saw the lady with the silver on, I said, "Yeah, I got to go urinate on this one." Yeah, it was behind me when I saw all that going on. Yes, indeed. Let me roll my blunt. Look like it's going to be a long night. Keys up. Sister, they fighting. They fighting from it. And let me tell y'all this. Mane, last night you was uploading. You and the game was in front of the wits in. Them people say you was on the wrong side of town. <laughs> Them people say you was on the wrong side of town. They say they're from downtown, so they hang downtown. I say, you see what I'm saying? They play with people too much. They play with people too much. Oh, I, ooh, I ain't know all these comments passed. Oh, yeah, I was scrolled all the way up. Brief foot, you see. Big General Zell, why would I go around telling people that? Well, Bree, I mean, 
you know, we've been wanting to know what the fuck going on up in the streets. Tomorrow, y'all, I'm sold out of everything. Thank y'all so much. Best time to pre-order is at 9 a.m. Yeah, y'all gonna see Bindy. She got the balls rolling. The balls is rolling. Yeah, it was a time. It was a time. It's been going on in them streets. Look a punk. I've been sick. I don't feel like being bothered. I don't know why is your request to come on here, punk. I ain't adding you. Please leave me alone. I ain't for it. Listen. My big party. Why are we on here? Um, there's a lot going on in the city. Um, y'all keep sending me, and I'm gonna just say I'm gonna keep it real and say names because I'm I'm tired of all this subliminal, these subliminal messages and all this going on. Y'all keep sending me everything Ruju open uploading. Now Ruju called me his brother. I don't think Ruju be throwing subliminals at me, y'all. Stop that. You know what I'm saying? I guess on this internet and I listen to y'all and I feel like y'all was throwing crosses. They say y'all was trying to make it seem like Ruju was uploading them 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 posts about me. Ruju ain't op they say them posts is not for me. They say them posts is for potato out of St. St. John Parish. They say Ruju is letting Potato know he is the greatest host. They say Potato got to get off of that man Mike at that R&B night in that La Plaza or something like that. Y'all got to stop saying that Ruju be throwing slangs towards me. Nah, I ain't never talked to Ruju. But they say Ruju throwing them, throwing them um, shots at Potato out of Reserve, Louisiana. That's what they told me. I said, well, I knew that. You know what I'm saying? I knew. You know what I'm saying? Ruju called me his little brother and all of that, nah. You know? They say Ruju want potato off the mic and off the stage in the place. That's what they told me. I said, oh, the mess rolling in the place, huh? Mm-hmm. That's what they told me. So y'all can stop sending me them things. Talking about Ruju talking about me. And Ruju saying he the greatest host and all that because I'm not a host. Let's start there first. Let's start there first. Yo, to two, this, I mean, Christian is local. It's local now, you know. Because, you know, Ruju was throwing this. I don't know. Ruju see his own city don't book him or something. I don't know what's going on. But now they see Ruju is in the place. Yes, he is. They say they want potato. Not they. They say Ruju wants potato body there. Now they sent this to me. This is allegedly. I don't know what's going on, but y'all can stop trying to start mess between me and Rude Jew. McKee go to sleep. I can't believe she's saying it. Mm-hmm. They try to start it. Yes, they do. They try to start it. And another thing. And another thing. Whoever on this bitch, potato left, and the crowd left with him. There go the St. John people to click kicked in. The St. John people to kicked in. What's going on, MC Shaky? Oh, MC Shaky got say he got tuxedo ready and he popping out this Saturday. Bitch, listen, this Saturday is gonna be a different Saturday in New Orleans. Listen, this Saturday is my birthday party. This is not my actual birthday, but this is my birthday party, bitch. They got to pull us, they got to stop the streets. And the police got to open that bitch up for me. I'm coming, pulling up, pulling off, and hopping out. This Saturday at the film, bitch was up. Everybody else done had their fun. They done had their birthdays, parties already since the 2000, since the ball done dry. The ball done dry. All right, Tyree. That's right, fam. Fuck a hoe, Tyree. That's right. Support your nigga. Tyra said, dog lover treats. Support support my friend business if you have dog. Listen, 
Once you go St. Bernard, you can't go back. Fuck what you heard. Fuck what you heard. The mess rolled tonight. I ain't gonna lie. This is some messy ass shit going on tonight. Pull up, pull over, and hop out. Bitch, it's about to be a move. Everybody had their turn. Larry then did his big one with the second line and the all this and all that. The birthday party and all this and all that. We gonna roll this bitch out accordingly this Saturday. Yes, we is. We go roll this bitch out accordingly. Yes, it is. Yes, Lord. And you know, for my parties, we in that bitch going out the door with the second line band. Who snuck Larry? I ain't see Larry can snuck. They got to stop that. Larry ain't had no fight at no at no all black party and all that. Y'all gets all mixed up. Now there was a um discussion. A heated discussion at the after I was part, but nothing happened at the party. But this is about Key Carroll party. Please don't come questioning me about nothing. Come in there and let's start singing. It's going down like the Twin Towers on 9 11. Bitch, you got to know that. And that bitch going down so good. How many years later, the 9 11 hit and the towers are still down? Sound about right. We go shut this hole down. Yes, indeed. Bitch, we go shut this hole down. Come this said. Yes, indeed. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Listen, these people that we naming, they come and pull up and they're getting on the mic and they go, come and do business. They come and stand on business. Listen. They ain't coming just to be seen. They ain't coming just to be saying they in a building. They coming to do a job. We singing our heart out. Put that shit on. Put that shit on. Yeah, y'all put that shit on with all this other stuff. Put that shit on. Ball attire. Just look professional. Don't put your t-shirts on. You see what I'm saying? Put you some slacks on. Don't put your jeans on. I, I don't... Bye, Warren. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. We don't even know who them people is. We, I'm not going nowhere but they got to paint the white people black now. I'm going... At, yeah, I'm going to add them. They rolling. In. They, they, they rolling. I'm going to add them. Wait, they got a lot. Yeah, they got a lot of people drinking in here. Oh, and another thing. Another thing. So I can start adding the people. So I add the people when they all get in here. So I can start adding people and getting their opinions. But you remember our girl? I hate to do this. I hate to do this. Um, I, I, I give everybody a chance um, to come on here and, 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 and plead their case and all that. <clears throat> but remember our girl I got on my bed at um damn near midnight we ain't got the, the um the five thousand something dollars we ain't drove to her location gave her the money we glorified her and this and that and this and that we glorified her from being the city the city um hero on her hands and knees Giving CPR and all that. Remember that? I can't remember a page. I remember her name, but I can't remember a page. Could y'all please send this to her live to her and get her on here? Because now they're saying she done set somebody up to get killed. Y'all heard that? Get her on here, y'all. We need to know what's going on. Now, we done stamped her all across the city. Not until I say something, the news done recognized and all that. You see what I'm saying? We loved her to death. Now they see my girl to set the, the ex-boyfriend up to get killed. And the ex-boyfriend mama sent it to me and said, get on now. If you saw, send the police. She done got my son all shot up. Yes, she did. The mama told me that. The ex-boyfriend mama told it to me. 
huh? Get her in here. Something is going on. I said, no, no, our little, our little hero. Then say our little hero who we love so much. I said, she, she was sweet as pie. They said she was sweet as pie. I met her. We went to R&B night. She was sweet as pie. Now they say she done set up the ex-boyfriend to get shot up. And the ex-boyfriend who done got shot up, the mama um, reached out to me and said, the little girl you helped then try to get my son killed. We got to get in here to see what's going on. We got to get in here and see what's going on. Something ain't right about this story. It just got to be a joke or something. Because I can't see this girl doing it. This is some serious allegations going on. You see what I'm saying? That girl was sweet as pie. I think that's her right there. I'm me. I think that's her right there. I'm so happy she on here. I think I'm going to add your fast day right there. Please, because I don't want to look at you in the bad eye. We in the city love you for trying to do the CPR and help them people. Now, if you done set somebody up to get killed, I don't know what's going on. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me let, me let it add up because see, that is her. I saw it. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I'm going to let him just send a request because the mama coming on to here too. To see what was going on. Stay right there, Pat. Don't leave. I'm going to edge up here. Because, you know, once I start adding, I got to keep adding people on here. Yes, indeed. You think if she did it, she going to tell you, yeah, treat it as big. Because I'm going to have to post it. You see what I'm saying? So you got to come up here in front of the same people who glorified you. You got to come up here with the same people who glorified you. The same people who put in with me to go grease you. With five plus thousand bands and all of that. You know what I'm saying? This is a business. We are here to make the city of New Orleans look good. You see what I'm saying? She walked around with a badge of honor on around her chest. Now, we the people who love her, she got to come and let us know what's going on. Dina Marie, sit your stupid ass down and shut up and mind your business. This is the business and the people need to know what's going on and the people won't know what is going on. From CPR to AR 15. But then she goes, she requesting to come on here. She requesting to go on here. But in better, in other news, before I add her, in other news, um, I want to say shout out to um Miss D. I want to say shout out to Miss D. Y'all go get some tickets to this. Y'all get tickets to this play. This is what I was looking at, and I had lost track of time. I was looking at the little trailers. So Mario P, this bitch from from went from doing comedy to to doing stage plays and all that. Mario P trying to make it to the big screen. Shout out to Mario P. I support Mario P. I remember that nigga who was running on Do Main Street. You see what I'm saying? Um, they got a play called Miss D's Kitchen Stage Play. It happens on Friday, March 8th. Y'all go see everything else. Y'all like mess. Miss D is messy. She messy. I think this would be a good stage play. And it's at the Orpheum Theater. That's big. That's big. Normally, nobody could get a discount at the Culver or they go to the Joy when only 10 people could get it and all that. But they got them a nice Miss D's Kitchen Stage Play which happens Friday, March 8th at the Orpheum Theater in New Orleans. Let's go see it, y'all. Let's go support. Miss D is the first lady of the hood smoking a cigarette while pushing her oxygen tank. She smokes cigarettes and liquor warrant. Yeah, she messy. I heard her. I was looking at it. It's good as a motherfucker. It's good as a motherfucker. Smoking cigarettes and pushing the oxygen tank. Who will die first? Mm -hmm. The oxygen tank or Miss D? That's what I was waiting to see. She live in the heart of the urban neighborhood. Miss D Kitchen is where comedy and drama collide. Known for her wild style, complete with a dusty house coat, cigarette in the hand, and an ever-present oxygen tank. That's what I saw. I couldn't make that make sense. You got an oxygen tank because you can't breathe, but you're smoking the cigarettes. Miss D is the queen of her domain, and her kitchen buzzing with soulful tunes becomes a magnet for a cast of eclectic. You heard that, huh? Niggas using big words, eclectic. Put your Bible out, bitch. Put not not your Bible. I'm sorry, y'all got scared when I said that. I'm sorry, I ain't gonna say that part. Pull your dictionary out. 
Bitches don't use dictionaries no more. How me just going off phone and Google it, huh? Google eclectic. Mm -hmm. Bitches don't know what that means. <laughs> ah! Black people, I say eclectic and bitches got confused. Uh huh. Not electric, bitch. Eclectic. Uh huh. She got eclectic characters. From the young hustlers to the old timers, each seeking a moment of escape and connection. The cast knew all his own Mario P as Miss D's drug addicted son. That sound about right. Get the nigga from out the sixth wall and make him seem like a dope fiend. That sound about right. See, this, this, this play here is real life. Grab a nigga out the sixth wall and make him act as a dope fiend. Uh -huh. Mario go kill that hoe. Yes, he is. He go kill it and bury it. From the sixth wall, acting as a dope fiend, that should be easy. The play features a stellar lineup, including the smooth-talking Pretty Tony, played by Tony Grant, known for Why Did I Get Married, and as the lead singer of The Temptations, the pimp on foot is always up to something in Miss D's. The cast also boasts names like Neil Dorsey from Basketball Wives. I like Neil Dorsey. All right. Go ahead on, Mario P. Shout out Mario P from New, from New Orleans. Neil Dorsey from Basketball Wives as Baby Blue. Kyra J as the unabashed sweet baby. Draper Winston as the morally conflicted. I ain't see him on there. Reverend Bucky. Oh, it's about to go down. But I know when people playing plays, they be knowing how to sing and all that. I don't think Mario know how to sing. Nobody out the six one know how to sing. You know how the second line, though? Uh-huh. Kitty, go sit the fuck down because they sent me something about you, too. Y'all be wanting to mess and all that, and then y'all wants to run back and say, because Keith started it. Keith said no, bitch. Keith didn't say nothing because Keith been inside since the other day. Y'all was in this. Y'all be in them streets acting like motherfucking animals. But then when I get it, y'all want to tell me to delete this and delete that and all of that. I ain't deleting the motherfucking thing. So stop calling me. This is 2024. I don't need nobody calling me, telling me to need a motherfucking thing. I don't give a fuck if it's your daddy, your uncle, your auntie, your mama, grandma. Don't call me and ask me to delete a motherfucking thing. If you're in the streets acting like an animal and the people catch you on camera and send it on over and say, keep please, the city needs to know this, the city gonna know about it. Don't come ask me a motherfucking thing about deleting a motherfucking thing because that's what it's, the fuck is gonna be. Nah, now leave me alone about delete. Don't come calling me about deleting a motherfucking thing no more. That's just on that. Nah, I'm uploading it. I don't give a fuck. The city need to know what's going on. It ain't making it to the news people, but it's going to make it to the to the New, New Orleans real crime report. We talk about good, we talk about bad. We talking about what's going on in the city. The fuck they talking about. As laughter and music fill the air, secrets, secrets start to spill. That's it right there. That's it right there. See, once they heard that part about when the secrets starting to spill... They're going to see it. Do not play with the sixth wall. I already knew it's about to be going on. Nini, I already knew this is about to be a time. The sixth wall done made it to a play with real celebrities. This is about to be a time at the Orpheum Theater, March 8th. Get y'all tickets, fam. We going in that motherfucker. We at the Orpheum Theater, March 8th. Tickets available on Ticketmaster.com. I'm going to pull up. I'm going to see Mario make an ass of the sixth wall. Because I'm so tired of the night one making an ass of himself. Might as well go look at me, roll on over down to the sixth floor. Every second line coming out the Tremé Center, might as well go see what else they could do besides tap dance in the street. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. But let me add, let's start adding these people. Let's see what's going on. Let's start adding these people. This is a lot going on. Key, you really just click down right. Yeah, treat it. Nice is, is different. It's so different. Girl, they just sending me all kind of stuff. And then they be telling me, Keep, please don't post this. Keep, please don't post that. I ain't gonna lie. They asked me about a few months ago. They asked me a few months ago to not talk about a situation. Now, you mean to tell me this situation been rolling for months and they still don't want me to say nothing? Well, I got to see what's going on now. Why we at it? Wandell, I see you on here. And Quell, I see you on here. Why is Wandell and Quell been fussing on this, um, on this, on this, um, Twitter? I ain't got Twitter, but they been sending it to me. 
This is Wandell and Quell. Y'all got to stop fussing on that Twitter. We on Instagram now, baby. It done got, we need to know what's going on. Now, y'all was just having fun of y'all all black in the treehouse in the section cutting up. Now, they say Wandell telling Quell she got rubber legs. D Dale, you wrong for that bitch. Dale, you wrong for that hoe. You goes far. Yeah, where Wandell at? Wandell, you goes far on this internet. Told that girl rubber legs she in a wheelchair. Bitch, they go get you, ho. They, that one, see, that Wandell mouth been filthy. Years ago, before Katrina, when me and Wandell was running, back and forth to Sam's cutting up and all that, that whole me, ho, me and that bitch used to fuss. Now they going west. Now she say, quail legs is rubber legs. In the wheelchair, that whole Wandell been a reckless hoe by the mouth. But what's going on? Because I love Wandell and I love Quell. What's going on? Why are they fussing? We need everybody up here. It's the beginning of the year. We might as well edit this hoe out. Now, let me see if this thing. Love me. Love me. Yeah, they say you just said you. They, they say you got your brother to shoot your ex boyfriend and the ex boyfriend mama. I don't got the only thing I have. The only proof of somebody touching me is a baby daddy, and I don't even claim that bitch. Fuck, I got. I'm happy you clean. I don't got no. You ain't seen no anybody, no me. I don't got no proof. I you will never see me post not a nigga but my son. Right. If he ain't gonna marry me, if he ain't gonna post me, if he ain't gonna do nothing for me. I got bills to be paid. What the fuck I'm worrying about no nigga? Thanks. What you gonna allow me for? And then the thing about it is, I got a baby. I okay, make me some noodles, please. Exactly. You see how my son gonna talk to me? That's the right. Me set that for. Set that up for. I'm 19. You niggas gonna do fuck for me? I'm in my own. I'm finna get my own. Let me show you that. Do me for nothing. Don't put nothing on my name just because I did a good ass deed. You hold right down is crazy. Hold up, this. It, let me see. Hold up, this the picture they said they say this you. Hold on. Hold on, I'll hang up. Hold on, let me get the picture. Hold on. Okay. Cause what the fuck I did? What the? Her tub, big, big. Yeah, you can put some water in the bouquet. Yeah. What the fuck? I'm just, I'm so shocked at the fall. Like, this is so funny. Right here, fam. Wait. Because you, you, you can't show pictures on here no more, but they say this you. That bitch don't even look like me. We, my name is D-E-R-R-A-N-A-E. -E. That bitch not me. My hair is not red. I got nigga cornrows. What the fuck? But you cleared yourself. No, because I know you was. I was I could show, actually, I could show my ID. I could pull up my LA wallet. Look what they, Look what they say. I'm gonna show you the message. They say, address. I'm from the West Bank. I don't play like that. I've never been to Landry. I don't know them people. I went to West Jefferson. I don't play like that. Don't put my name and shit. And for the land to be like, yeah, you helped that girl out, huh? Bitch, you don't know who your son creeping with. Ooh. Just because you know who your son is creeping with. Don't got fuck to do with me. Tell them, tell them, just tell them. I don't even, first of all, bitch, I wear glasses. I, I got four eyes. That bitch got two. So <laughs> That's oh, right. That whole got, that whole got come catches on her eyes. I got real lashes. How the fuck, they, what they got to do with me? That's right, man. Like, baby, don't put me in nothing. Not my daddy was, because him and his father's about to come, and I'm about to come shoot my little old apartment up for get back. Baby, no, my people don't play like that. So wait, people been people been people been, people been people been people been hitting you up about that? People just sent me this. Like people just sent me the live and was like, Nay, keep talking about yeah. me. I don't do shit. Nay stay in her house. Nay goes to work. Nay be her ass at work. I don't That's even go right. out Because I knew you were <laughs> sweetest pie you were, you were sweetest pie and you and you are humble. We love you. So we still love you. Cause if that was you set somebody up for murder, you know. Murder is crazy. I don't even play with guns. I don't even like guns. Baby, don't even put your gun on my dresser when you come over. It's crazy. That's ridiculous. That's that's funny. They that's for hilarious. That. hilarious. And I don't even look like that bitch. Just because we both got big eyes is crazy. Find out who your son is creeping with. Don't put that shit on it me. It said it was you. <laughs>
She said, girl, keep, she said, Keith, the girl you helped almost, I told you what she said. Keith, the girl you helped, oh, that's crazy. Baby, I save lives. I don't take them. <laughs> there you go. Tell that whole, I don't know. I, I'm just so shocked and appalled. It's, so, it's not funny, but it's funny because. Oh, I already know because if there was, if I was laying down and they come saying my name on the Keith Carroll show, my heart would have went through my ass. I would have been yeah, nervous I'm, too. I'm, I'm Get on that fucking show. They're talking about you. Bitch, who? Right. Who's talking, right. who talking about me? Keep talking about me again. What I do? I've been staying my ass inside. I can learn to shut the fuck up. Stay inside. They say, yeah, man. He talking about you. He said, you. You the villain. I'm a villain. Yeah, I that's what he was saying. Who nothing with nobody. My brothers don't even let me get in the nigga beef like they. Whatever's well, going happy. on, my brothers don't even get to do like they. Like that's crazy. Well, you, that's well, you cleared it. You cleared it, fam. You cleared it. Please you cleared it. tell his mom I'm so sorry for your loss. Tell the families I'm so sorry for your loss. Please stop. Please. It's not Thank you, fam. Keep doing your big one. Keep I'm, being great. Well, thank you. Cause All right. Now see, now that lady got up there and sent that to me. We about to roll this girl. I was about to roll this girl like a boudin bowl. Vani. I was about to roll her up and send it to you like a boudin bowl. She innocent. See how easy that was? Let me get the mom on here now. There was about to be a time just now. I was about to have the same news people at the door. That girl is sweet as pie. Let me see if I can get this mom up here. <coughs> I said, still alive. That was a close call. I was about to roll her. Well, if y'all know this girl, this is the girl right here. Janine Lauren Brown, 1633 Laura Drive. Please pray for my son Trenton, his ex-girlfriend, which is her. Had her brother shoot him. You know where Janine Brown is? Or her older brother, Jordan, call 911 immediately or call me at 504 657 8374. I don't know what's going on. This was sent to me. But then in the DM, when they sent this to me, they said that it's the girl who saved the life with the CPR. I didn't know what was going on. I saw Nate. I said, Oh, Lord. I said, I got to see what's going on. Oh, yeah. That's it. I didn't know what was going on. Dang. Go. I'm going. This trophy said, I'm going to get a sofa in her name. Bitch, just take the sofa out the pants you put on because you put a sofa in your pants every day. That's one big wide punk body you be having on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, back to these fights that they got going on in the city. Nigga, now they quiet. They was up on this internet all day and night. They was on this internet all day and night. Yes, they were. Was they was on this internet all day and night, busting windows, busting tires, busting the parents' tires. Let's talk about it. What's going on, Miney? What happened, Miney? You said you was coming on here. Let me see what Miney. Miney said, cause she go with that twin out that Cali, and she ain't getting up off of them. That's what she told me. Look at look at the sister on here. I ain't I see the sister name, but she on here. The sister is on here. She said, don't add her. She ain't coming up. She said, don't add her because she ain't coming up. She's just here for support. She said she in the field. Mm, mm, mm. Also, who was them dudes fighting in front with in last night in the street? The court the twin said that she was drunk. <laughs> that Dakota at the time. Dakota stands side fat, please. Cause they go they go try to push that baby out of you. And you know who I'm going to tell. You know who I'm going to tell Dakota. Stay inside. Stay inside. I don't know why they be on the internet being so loud, but then when it comes time to get in front of the people, they get quiet. Where Wandell at? Where's Quail? What's going on? Well, Wandell and Quail on y'all is 
tearing Twitter to pieces. Come on here. What's going on? Yeah, the people want to know what's going on. Y'all told me two months ago, keep please leave it alone. Three months later, y'all still fussing? It's time to see what's going on. It's time to see what's going on. Hi, Keith. Hi. How are you? Hi, baby. Oh, my God. How? I'm so good. How are you? You got money in your hand. And your, your, your mama's insurance policy came in? Oh, something like that. <laughs> but what you say to me? My birthday. I know. How is Mardi Gras? I want to hear about that first. Baby, Mardi Gras ain't started yet. I'm trying to see what we're talking about here first. Oh. Talking about singing. That's what I like to do is sing. And get but why money. you got? But why you keep showing your money? Oh, I, I was busy counting it, and you messaged me to hop on. Oh no, you sent the request, and I and I answered. Really? Yeah, I had to get off because I had to take a phone call. Oh, so okay, I see you got three hundred dollars, huh? Something like that. <laughs> yeah. So what's up? I want to sing. What do you? I thought we were, we were talking about music. You ain't heard nothing about music on here. They ain't, they ain't singing down here right now. We singing Saturday. <clears throat> oh. We singing Saturday, January 27th for my party. But right now, in New Orleans, we tap dancing in the street. They fighting. What? They fighting in the street right, right now. What? what you want to sing, girl? What's up? What's up? What you looking for, fool? What you... Oh, let's do. What you drinking? Uh, beer? Pardon? Where you from again? Well, I was... I was uh, born in New York. I was raised in New Jersey. I went to college in New York well, what, and Boston. What state did your mama pass away in? New Jersey. New Jersey. And what state did your, your daddy pass away in? New York. Right. So, right. So, what's going on, boo? Well, I got a new house. I moved. Oh. I live. Uh, I moved back to where I, the beach. I'm from so the, the beach, so I moved back to the. Beach. The insurance policy and kicked in. Yeah, I got I got a shiny <clears throat> shiny floor now, Keith. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Go ahead on. Yeah, here uh, we're gonna go put the camera this way because I got nice windows now that go from floor to ceiling. So oh. I love that first part. Oh, you had a big one. You must have had a big yeah, policy. The, go ahead on. Big the big the big windows. I got a new bathing suit. I got a new. Look, I got new pants. My butt, you looking good. But anyway, listen, listen, listen. All right. Here, let's do some Bob Marley, because that's near and dear to my heart from Berkeley College of Music. All right. Let's let's go. All right. Oh, parents, yes, there are I'm not for tonight, stupid. You giving me stupid. I don't want to hear that tonight. We got a lot going on in the city. The city is in the uproar now. The city is tumbling. The city tumbling, and you want to sing about Bob Marley. You always want to sing a black person song. I feel like you is playing in my face. Every time you come up here, you want to sing something a black person say. Uh -huh. See, I get on here purposely cause black people all kind of niggas and all that want you to say, yeah, nigga, then I'm going to thrash you. Uh -huh. So I'm going to just get you up off your face because I ain't trying to set you up tonight. They got a lot going on in the city and I'm trying to see what's going on. They got tires of windows being busted. What's going on? We got things to talk about in New Orleans. Go lay down. Talking about you won't sing Bob Marley. You the only white bitch I know won't sing Bob Marley. Girl, please get up off of here right now. Oh, there she go. Now go in here. It's right here. Let me, let me add this lady. This is who I was looking for, the, the mother. Hey, mom, what's going on? Hey. So I'm I right here. I then got the killer for you, girl, because we was on. Yeah, let, you sent me the wrong. This sent something. me. They said it was the girl that. They said it was the girl who we helped. That's the wrong name. No, listen. I on? don't know what y'all, what girl y'all said it is. It's Janae Brown. She also graduated from LB Landry the Ooh. year after my son. Ooh. Okay, she was on the dance team. She was supposed to go to school at Southern University in Baton Rouge. However. Okay, after my son filed for a restraining order against her. So wait, go slow, baby. Okay. Go, go slow, though. So what's going on, Mama? First of all, okay, did your son die? Yeah, my baby died. And let me oh, tell you something. Lord. Like, like y'all don't know this kind of pain. Like, like, listen, I had to get myself together to come well, on here. 
We the city like, is I here for, but we the city I'm is here to mess. help you. Let me tell you something. I raised me a very good young man from a young age. I read my baby books every night, every night. And when I wasn't reading books, like I was making up stories, like my son helped everybody. He made me be a better person. And I'm his mama. I'm the mama. Okay, but he's love for everybody else. His friends need this, his friends need that. Grew up in my house. I was there for my son. Okay, right. I got my son off. Okay, after Katrina, okay. moved to Texas. But then like, you know, I didn't like how he was being treated in the schools out right. here. He was a musician and he was an athlete. I let him choose. He wanted to do music. Okay. We moved back to New Orleans because, okay, like I'm raising my son to be like who he, who he is meant to be, okay? Right. Always had good grades, all right? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, that's her? Like, listen, he's like, listen, oil and water do not mix. Right. Okay? I can tell you that. And that one there, my husband helped carry her deceased father's body out of the house when he died. Because oh. when he died, his mama... Like her mom already had the um vehicle ready, the funeral home ready. My husband ca helped carry them out. Okay, my son was broken up with her then, but then she played on his feelings then, and like called his phone a million times, ignoring him. Like um uh, he ignored her, sent them text messages. Oh my daddy died, so he didn't believe it. So he talked to me to get my opinion about what I think, but. I don't know exactly what she's doing, but he said, Ma, this girl crazy. Like, you know, but her daddy died, though. How you think I should be, Ma? Right. He even called his grandmother, <coughs> asked his grandmother. And his grandmother right. told him, you know, showed some compassion. Like, it would always be some kind of sob story of why he should get back with her. Right. Like, men go through domestic violence, too. Let me tell you something. Oh, yeah. My son, my son was at work, okay? She a girl, and, um, you know, she in the 12th grade, he graduated the year before her or whatever. You know, he's trying to get, like, things on track because that's how he was raised to be. Right. He would bring her to get birth, her birth control shots, right? My right. son got off work late, okay? He was working and making money because I, you know, he was too good to her. You know, when um he showed up to pick her up, okay, the other young man who is his brother, like, seriously, like, you know, who was shot in the head. The other young man, like, you know, they showed up together. They worked together. They went to school together, college together, roommates, you know, got their job right now together. So, Baba, when did, you, when did your son get when listen, did your son get killed? Listen, and this was like, I don't know, about three or four nights ago, Friday. I don't know what the fuck day it even is. What is today? I don't even know. Monday. Oh. Oh man, like how old was your son? My son was twenty years old. Okay. All right. He was a good man. He was a victim of domestic violence. That's why I posted like all the evidence. The restraining order. Here you go. She followed him to a whole different school the next year. He's ignoring her. She shatters his windshield. I flew into town, got his windshield repair, flew out of town after having her expelled. After her showing up, I have video footage, everything I say, I have proof of, I do my documenting, okay? Her in front of my house acting a complete fool on video. Which so I is the New Orleans Police Department helping you? Okay. We're working with NOPD, yeah, definitely. And then we're working with the U.S. Marshals. Okay. And then um, the Texas Troopers. Oh, so they're between here and Texas, they just run it. Oh, yeah, but, like, more than that, like, U.S. Marshals are involved. Yeah, yeah they know all, oh. all about my son. Like, my son was a good young man. Blaze was a good young man also. Is. Who? I'm saying. Like, the two victims. There were two victims. Oh, yeah, it was your son and he had a, somebody else got killed with him? No, he wasn't killed. Like, he was shot, you know, a very severe injury. But um, I'm not going to speak on that. Cool. Yeah. yeah, but um, that's my baby to my sweetheart. And, and what I can say is, is do not believe all women, okay? You have to look at who raised these people. You understand me? And people don't know my devastation. It's just that, you know, I heard about what was going on on live. 
I had to get on here. Right. Like people, like, like my son was like just so kind. Right. He was the light. Like, how can you make an adult better? You know. Right. And even I'm gonna tell you right now, in my son's death, I think about who he would want me to be. You know, I'm showering, not combing my hair yet. I don't give a fuck about any of that. But what I can say is, uh, like, I'm making it my business because I have a daughter. And then, you know, his other brothers adopted into me or not to look out for But my daughter. I have to find a strength because that is what my son would want me to do. And I'm so freaking devastated. Calm yourself down. No. No, no, my life will never be the same. It will never be the same because that boy was beautiful inside and out, and he was my buddy. And I am so freaking devastated that like I can never be happy again at all in my life. It doesn't matter what I have. I just cannot. I I can't. You know, I can't even leave. Like, I can't, okay? I pray you get justice, and it's going to be better. Just, you know, what keep praying and keep let, God first. And let me everything. tell you. Can I yes. tell you? Because people be saying that. We listen. All right, let me tell you what happened. Okay. Like, let's back it up. Like, today might be day eight, but let's just say everything that transpired within a week to me. And then I'll just even double back on some of that other shit. Okay, so anyway, this girl calls my son. All right, they've been broken up. He ain't been talking to this thing in a year. All right, like after I find out she's here, he said, Mama, you see Janae Hands? We ain't even be together. She got my name tattooed on her hands, both of her hands. That's crazy, right? You know? So, um, you know, he was just telling me that. This was after um, he tried to get her out of her house. All right, he had to go to work. All right, he fell for it. Like, he has two other partners that live there. He told me, hey, you know, come on over here. You can make more money. You can do better. You don't have to be around all that crime. I worry about, you know, like anything like that. What he said was them young niggas like that, you know. You can come out here and, like, do something. So... So um, him and his bestie, they were roommates, so now, like, they have their other two, you know, best brothers, you know, living over there. Like, that's just who he was. Like, I've had these kids, like, raised in my house, left there, lived there with me and my family for, you know, eight, nine years. Like, one of them, he's an orphan, no mother, no father. You know, his brother is gone. He doesn't have a family. But it's my son that looked out for him. So brought him in. So this is what happened. So this thing is um with Janae. Let me tell you something. She called. She knows that like Trenton is kind. You know, hey Trent. You know, I'm homeless. I don't have any place to stay. My mama moved in with her boyfriend, and um like she said I can't come now. You know, so, so there's some negotiations or whatever. He tell her she can come stay there, you know. You can, like, stay just for a while, a couple of weeks, and you can get on a temp service with another friend name or whatever and start right away. And um, then you can move in, like, one of the cheaper apartments in Dallas. We live on the outskirts. And then, like, $99 will move you in. It'll just be efficiency, but, you know, it'll just take a couple of weeks. So this thing come out here. You know, he helps her get out here, put her on a plane. She ain't have a dollar, what she said. So, um, like, she comes out here, and then when she gets here, like, she's hiding his stuff, you know, from him, you know, including a firearm. And um, he called the police himself to tell the police, hey, you know, look, she stays here, whatever, I let her come here, and, you know, and stay with us. Like, you know, me and my roommate agreed on it. And then, like, she's hiding my own firearm. She said she threw it in the bushes. She said she threw my gun in the bushes. You know, and I'm calling her because she volatile. You know, I had a restraining order on her before or whatever, but I felt <coughs> sorry for her. Then 
the police come out. Like, you know, like I live one minute drive away. No, it ain't even one minute. Man, please. I live like 20 seconds away from my son. Okay? All right. And so um, he called me. He upset. Yeah, my, you know, she didn't, Janine didn't hit my gun or whatever. She didn't took my paper. She threw my gun in the bushes. And something else that she did. He said, and I called the police. All right? They're on the way. So I jump up, scream for my husband, like throwing just a coat and run over there. And come to find out, you're like, I'm I'm negotiating with the um with the police. Now she's the ghetto one, calling me all kind of hoes. Honey, I'm a married woman. You're the one with chlamydia and my son didn't have it. And the doctors made you tell him in front of them. Okay, I'm a married woman. My children, my two biological children are for one man. Okay, so she was just being disrespectful. Police like, we can't make her leave because um, squatters have rights. And somebody, you know, has to cool off for 12 hours. We cannot make her leave. So we're going to take Trent and to cool off for 12 hours. I showed them the restraining order from New Orleans and every damn thing. You know, come to find out it was a police officer first night on the job. And now he feels bad and has shown up at my house twice since then you know but okay so that happened so then um the boys decide i go get trenton so how did he get, how did he get back how did he get back to new orleans and he, the murder happened how what happened listen they were not in new orleans when the murder happened okay we're in texas all right i'm gonna try to go through this real quick okay listen we're in texas all right i go pick up my son after his like not even 12 hour cool off period. I go pick up my son. I bring him back. Okay. And um, like she already agreed to get a plane ticket. She said it to the officers. I purchased her airplane ticket right there on the spot. Okay. So I also ordered her an Uber, like scheduled an hour before, you know, she was due to be at the airport. As soon as the police officers left, like this thing changed up from calling me a hotel. Miss Michelle, I wanted to apologize. You know, I'm not going to um leave unless I talk to Trenton. No matter what, I'm not going to leave. Like, and she would not leave. I wrote so, her, let me, let so, Miss Michelle, since she set your son up in Dallas, she so since then came back to New Orleans and now y'all can't find her. U.S. Marshals. Is looking for in New Orleans. Yeah. My son tried to get away from her, left, and um, him and his partners, best friends, brothers, they were driving up there to Alabama to go see their frats, you know, and they were going to stay for a while, like, they packed, because they're good men. They're like, man, like, she got us in a corner, like, they uh, obeyed the law. We're going to leave. You know, we're going to take off from work. Slid on some black ice, totaled the fucking truck. I drive out there, I get the phone call. Trenton is crying because Blaze is unconscious. Eli was unconscious, but then he got up. Like, I'm on my way. Okay, my car has snow and ice mode. I make it out there. And then what he said was, Mama, like, uh, once he was at the hospital, give me an um, Blaze helmet because we have to go to work. Even though they just had a major accident and they fucked up. Okay. So how did, what happened with, the, with her getting her brother to shoot him? What happened? This is what happened. This is what happened. The reason why, okay, some things I don't even want to say, but what I will say is she was on the phone with someone, and we know who he is. And what happened was the reason why she didn't want to take my plane ticket is because, like, after I got the... And she has the right, you know, and then like, you know, so, okay, we're just going to go lay down. We see you still here, you know, just don't come in, you know, our room. And she's like, well, I'm believing anyway. So then, like, next thing you know, they just like, whatever. They go lay down. Like, they don't really believe it because cause she doesn't have any money. And I bought a ticket and she Yeah. <clears throat> her family on here texting my phone i guess she kidding somebody i know 
that just text me and say, get her off here. She's going through a lot. You can tell she's going through a lot. My heart goes out to her. Um, but she's from New Orleans. She moved her family to Dallas for a better living. And something like this happens. Um, he moved the girlfriend from down here to out there. And when I'm getting gathering it, she got him set up and shot out there, and now since then has came back down here and they're looking for her. That's a lot. She grieving. I don't know how she feels. I don't know how it is, how it feels to lose a child. But as you can see, she's hurt. She's hurt. Keep, keep in your prayers. But it was a mistaken identity because I know if that was, if that was me, and it was my child that got killed at this person. I know me. Everybody looked like the killer. If that was my child that got killed, everybody looked like the killer. Let's start there first. I don't know how she feel. She had my deepest condolences. But you got to know this. My son get killed. Everybody look like the killer until the real killer get caught. Who is this? The killer. That's what I'm going to keep saying. Who is this? The killer. I'm going to say it. I thought that was his grandmother. No, that's the killer. Everybody is the killer until we get down to who is the killer. And that's just on that. I understand she's going through. You can tell she's going through it. She ain't been sleeping. I look. I just pray that God just continue to watch over mine and don't put me in that kind of situation because every time they ask me who that is, the killer, I want everybody who know him in jail and we go sort through it after. But for now, who is that? If you asking me who it is, evidently they had something to do with it, that's the killer. Put him in jail. That's just how it's going to have to go for me. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of people trying to get on here tonight. So let's just add the people. Who is Autumn? I don't see nobody. Oh. Oh. Autumn, that's the boy. So oh, this is must be his sister. I'm Anna. This is sister. Yeah, I'm Anna. She must be having phone problems or something. I still, I'm adding it ain't going through. Wait, they say, oh, autumn, they say autumn unable to germ. I've been taking all kinds of. Hello. Wait, what's going on? With, what's going on with your screen picture? What's going on? Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not face up oh. but um, you a burn page? You a burn page? No, I'm not a burning page. Okay. I'm just not putting my face up. Here. Okay, what's up? Uh, it's a lot of like misinformation out there i'm gonna try to answer some of these comments without getting into too many details so you know you know the the, the guy trent yeah that was my brother like we all we are brothers like we, okay. we're not blood but we all call each other brothers like i'm sorry for your loss bro it's all right bro like i just appreciate like 
that I was able to like we we made that boy friend like that boy life friend like nigga had a lot of good memories so like I'm not really like you know it's hard and shit but you know we made a lot a lot of good memories and shit I'm I'm glad I was able to be part of that boy life I'm glad he's part of my life like so do you you know like a little bit of what happened just so we could yeah um I don't I get go, too I specific keep my brother's mom up here because she all over the place and I'm yeah, sure she. I don't want to be too specific. I'm gonna try to clear some like I'm only trying to clear like like real real confusion. Like, right. So I'm trying to read some of the comments. You just give us a the small thing of what happened because we. Uh, it was just a lot of domestic shit going on. Like like she okay. said, we uh man had a restraining order and shit. But I'm gonna just uh see what happened. Like with the I ain't trying to get into all of that. Um. Uh, some shit happened, like, I don't know what happened, but I got the call that, like, all that, some sh like, they got shot and shit, and we definitely know who it is. He identified himself at the crime scene. He said, why, why you let, why you let them do that to my sister? He told us to our other brother, not blood, but we, you know. Right, I understand. He, he identified himself, so we already knew who it was, but that's, that's different than, like, him identifying himself type shit, and, like, Everybody confused. It happened in it happened in Texas, but we know, like we we trying to get with the NOPD because like where else they gonna go? So when you on a run, this sh that shouldn't go last think... as long. Like what's up, Mike? What that's my, what was up? What's up? Uh, who that is? Nephew? Yeah. Yeah. Was that? I'm with the nephew. What's up? He got me up. I got a couple phone calls about it. You yeah. know. But what what anybody want to know since uh you ain't got to worry about showing your face i'm gonna show mine so everybody can really see you know yeah i, I ain't trying to i'm gonna let y'all tell the details i don't want to get into details without yeah don't, don't do it i got this I'll, I'll see you when i get over there tomorrow all right all right, all right love you boy. all right let me get off here. all right yeah bro yeah, what's up with it, man? This uh, Trenton uncle, uh, it's a real tough time. I heard my sister was on here earlier. Yeah, she messed I, up. And, and I, I, I she... talked to her. I talked to Michelle probably about two hours ago, and you know she kind of going through it right now. Oh yeah, I know. She, uh, we saw it. She really ain't been sleeping much. Uh, you know, it's it's a real real tough time for her. So y'all gotta understand. You know, losing your firstborn son, you only got two kids, you know. And uh Autumn is my niece. You know what I'm saying? And I was actually there that night, uh, once I got the phone call, cause I I live like uh uh maybe four miles from where they live at. You know what I'm saying? Right. So uh, uh I was the first one to actually make it there once everything <clears throat> Once everything happened, matter of fact, my sister was at me and my sister was at my house uh, earlier that, that day when everything jumped off. You know, when before all this stuff happened, there was a whole lot of other stuff that happened that led up to this whole situation. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't just no random event. It wasn't nothing trick really, really caused. You know what I'm saying? So to everybody that's thinking, that might be thinking, you know what I'm saying? My nephew was into something crazy or anything like that. Let me tell you something, man. My nephew was one of the best little dudes you ever really run across. He ain't got no street background. He ain't got no real hood in him. None of that. He ain't no coward or nothing like that. But, uh, you know, he ain't no pushover. You know what I'm saying? Right. So <laughs> I clear up anything anything that needs to be said or anything that any, any questions that got anybody have. Any information, Mikey is tattooed on IG or James O'Neill uh, on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? And Autumn is my niece. She was the one, now that I see that my sister texted me, Autumn, that's my niece. That's Michelle, other child. She was the one that was trying to get in on the feed or whatever. So I just got a random, somebody just called my phone. I didn't even know this was going on right now. Mm -hmm. You know? 
know what I'm saying? But my sister, I guess my your sister just looking for, you know, she looking for help. She reaching out to people. And I mean, I guess when they told her New Orleans, I guess, you know, that's when they, I guess, you know, her family, your family reached out to me. And um, we thought that it was another girl. The, the came as it was another girl named Nay who we helped out. And the, her, the girl named Nay, they look like they got the same name, but it was the wrong Nay. So the girl Nay came on here tonight and she cleared it up. It was like, no, it's yeah. not me. I don't know what's going on. And you, we, we cleared it up. And then that's when your sister came on here trying to explain, but we could see that she going through it. And um, it's, it's, you know, this is just, it's not for her to talk about right now. I know she's going through it. Yeah, I mean, she stand, she could stand on the, she, you know, Michelle Strong, right. you know what I'm right. saying? She, uh, and trust me, she mean everything she say. She say everything she mean. You know what I'm saying? And everything gonna come out. I don't know who the other Nay is that came on earlier. We all had to clear stuff up about. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, it's fucked up how they did that to the nephew. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's, it's real. Was, was he, was he yeah. shot? Yeah, he was shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you yes. said. As soon as that, that happened, I was the first one that made it over there. Once I got the phone call, you know what I'm saying? They were still holding. I'm the one that went down to the hospital for my nephew behind this. I was the first one that found everything up myself, and I had to share it with my family, even before my sister knew. You know what I'm saying? That shit did terrible damage, not only to my sister, to my mama, uh, my son, because my son and Trenton, they're the same age. So they grew up kind of like cousin brothers, you know what I'm saying? Right. So that that ripped him to shreds because they're the ones that bought me. My son and my wife was the ones that bought me down to the hospital, you know, because I just had I just had surgery uh, January 12th. So I had surgery on my legs, so I'm kind of, it's hard for me to move around too much. But uh, yeah, man, it's, it's a bunch of bullshit that's going on. They got to get cleared up, man, with some people. And, uh, you know, it's it just is, is what it is at this point with us. You know, it's certain shit you you just don't do to some people. I have family members who... Is it happening in Garland, Texas on Friday in 3500 block? Yeah, something? yeah, out in Garland. That's where we live. It's a suburb of Dallas. literally like four miles from my house. And my sister was the one who went in there and was trying to give her own son CPR to try to, try to save her, her own son life, you know? So yeah, you can, let her, you can let them talk, let them say what they gotta say. You can let my niece say what she gotta say. But I just got random. I'm sorry for your loss though, I'm gonna add. I'm trying to add yeah. all of them again. Add her. I'm going to hang up. You add her. Right. Oh, that's deep, huh? <clears throat> Boy, that's cool. His name was Tuba Trent. Dina, shut up, girl. Is you dead? Oh, Lord, you, you so ugly like a barely see. Oh, my God. Who you call ugly? Oh, Lord. Oh, take your mask you off. You hope from this? I don't know what to say. You so ugly. You a hippopotamus. Yo, mo. Uh -huh. Yo, mo. What kind of hairstyle you got going on now? My my hair's on fleek. Your barber need to go to jail and never come out. What the hell? You got poker face. I take that from you. What kind of face you got? 
a sexy face. What the hell? You got, I don't know what the, you know what, at this point, I would have told the police you was the shooter. You ugly. Coming from you, I'll take that. <laughs> your your lips are fucked up. Oh. Coming from you, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> they look like the back of them pig's ass. <laughs> You is so ugly. And, uh, what the hell? You so ugly. What you mean? How you come on looking like that? What the hell? You got how one of your front teeth is dead. My teeth is alive. What you talking about? No, it's brown and dead. No, it's alive. Ooh. One second, one second, one second, one second. Don't smile, please don't, don't smile with your ugly tail stuff, you nasty bitch. Let me get your black ugly ass up off of here. You done scared the whole motherfucking life. We was all sympathizing. Now you done brought your ugly ass up off here, now to turn it to a horror movie. We done went from a, a um, a, 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 the um Lifetime channel to horror channel. Get your ugly ass off of here, Halloween 13. Get your nasty ass from up off of here. Now you done scared me, Zulu. Please get off of here. With your little ugly tail self. We was all in our feelings. Now, you done came up here and scared the whole motherfucking thing. Zulu, with your ugly tail self. Man, man, you was ugly just now. I don't know what was going on. You done scared the fuck out of me, Zulu, with your ugly black tail self. Bitch was so black, he was purple looking. Lord, he was so ugly. Yo, what made you add that nigga to the live, bro? I don't know. He, I don't. I was trying to add somebody else in his back. Ugly ass come popping up here, man. That, that Yo, you ugly. cracked me the fuck up. I swear to God. Yeah, what's going on? No, not much. Man, happy New Year to you, gang. I don't even know you, but Happy New Year. Same to you, gang. Why you got an orange ceiling in the in a yellow wall? Oh, I ain't gonna lie, this shit yellow. It's a bad yellow. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> don't come for my ass, please. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fucking. People. I'm gonna get you off of here because just your, your your background was making me dizzy. It was a lot of um oranges and nectarines going on. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of oranges and nectarines going on. I'm gonna just get you up off of here. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to add people. I don't know what's going on. I I I was trying to add the boy's sister, then the master popped up. I don't know what's going on. This Instagram go to act and doing what he wanna do. I don't know. When he come up here, Happy New Year's and all that, and he got the fucking fruit farm in his house. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to see what's going on. Now, we got people in New Orleans fighting, taking each other's heads off, busting windows and tires, sleeping with each other, man, getting pregnant with twins for people, boyfriends and all that. We trying to see what's going on in New Orleans. I'm trying to find out why Dell and Quell is fussing and all that, on the Twitter and all that. We got a lot going on. And plus, like I said, the biggest birthday party of the century is going on this Saturday. I had to talk about that. You got to know that. Listen, we got Monica and all these different people coming, for real, for real. Treat it. You're in these comments. I see you talk talking. I just better see you on Saturday when Dondra sing her part. And then I'm going to have to come on up there here. I'm going to swim the ocean just to get to you with Dondre together, we got to go New Orleans route. I don't, if I don't see nothing else, it's going to be a problem, niece. I'm telling you now. It's going to be a problem. Talking about what's up, gang. Right. No, ain't no what's up, gang. I'm from New Orleans. You from the fruit farm. We is from two totally different parts of the world. Bye, dummy. Yeah, put me on, on stage after Dondre. No, you going, you got to go on stage with Dondre. Oh, yeah. My, my niece. Uh-huh. Twitter is membership. I thought Twitter was for nastiness. Every time them people send me something on Twitter, it's somebody booty hole getting plunged, pussy in the air, legs bust wide open to the white meat on that Twitter. I don't know where Quail and Dale gets the fussing on now, cause all I see is sex going on up on that um it's on that Twitter. I ain't getting that Twitter. I ain't, I ain't getting on that Twitter. They say that Twitter had nothing but sex going on up on there. That Twitter got sex going up on there. I don't know what, what 
Quail and Dale is doing on their fussing. They got to fuss on Instagram because they got the sex going on on that Twitter, I'm telling you. They say you used to go on that Twitter and see nothing but dick, pussy, and booty holes all across the screen. Twitter rules like bowling balls. I know they do. I ain't getting on that Twitter. I, I know indeed. Because this iPhone do they want. Next thing you know, the vote is uploading all kind of pictures and all that on the Twitter. Uh-uh. Ain't going up on the Twitter. I'm gonna just keep this little Instagram. I don't know nothing else going on. Yeah, they, they say that Twitter. They say they choose on that Twitter. That's what they told me. Look, I love me some Twitter with the little nasty stuff. They go down. My money and clients on Instagram. Oh, no, well, bitch, come on here. And let me see what's going on. Why would you say that girl had rubber legs? Dale, you do too much. Dale, you was mess. You been messy all your life. Dale been messy all, all our life, all our days. I've been knowing this, so I knew Dale before y'all knew Dale. I've been knowing Dale since y'all before y'all knew Dale. Dale been messy. She ain't just started. She been messy. I forgot me and so got into a long, long, long time ago. We stopped talking for years, and we started talking back. I know Dale. I love Twitter. So so much had to make my page private. Uh, Kitty, I know. You probably just busting that ass open. Let me see your ass bust open on Twitter and you could count your days, bitch. You'll never come lay up in here again. You'll n never come lay up in here again. Let me see. If anybody saw Kitty bust wide open on Twitter, send it to me so I can have the receipts so she can't come back and lay up in here no more. Oh, my white girl said, the Twitter her is different from the Instagram her. See, that's why I ain't going over there. Look at DeRoy to my man. To the mo. DeRoy's be on that Twitter. DeRoy say, DeRoy say he chafed right now. DeRoy say, Shonda, DeRoy say he is chafed right now from watching the video on Twitter the other day. DeRoy say he could barely walk, he's so chafed. DeRoy say he had to beat the chafe on him. DeRoy say he got Brush burns all up on him from the Twitter. It was a time the Royce said the Roy said it was a time had watching that Twitter. He said he got brush burns all below the belt. The Roy said as soon as the video popped up on the Twitter, he had to go to work. He forgot all about lubrication and Earl. Mm -mm. I ain't going up on that Twitter. That's what'll make you hurt yourself, the Roy said. DeRoy told me this last night. DeRoy said that Twitter make you hurt yourself. I ain't going up over there making you hurt yourself and no way. I got to go get this bitch some calamine lotion. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Bitch, DeRoy couldn't even try on his tuxedo pants last night because he was raw. DeRoy needs some, um, what's that? That, um, stuff the Ertman, the Rodney Ertman couldn't even put his tuxedo pants on and try them on last night. Keep you can share Twitter. I don't, Keith. I'm not showing the people our tricks that we doing here on no Twitter now. Go ahead on now. Hell, add out Lavelle. Ooh, Lavelle, add it out. So any of these people listen. So y'all guess y'all y'all wants to get on this internet and say all kind of stuff. Y'all goes from social site to social site saying all kind of stuff. Y'all in the street busting ties and all that, busting windows. Y'all in the clubs fighting. Y'all all outside fighting and all that. But then when it come down to to see the video going around, but then when the city wants to know about it, nobody says nothing. Please, that's why since y'all don't want to come on here and say what we looking at y'all fighting and y'all don't want to come up. Tell us what y'all fighting for. Don't come tell me to take nothing down. That's how it's gonna have to roll. And then please stop sending me with Ruju saying Ruju, I'm his I'm Ruju brother. Ruju say I'm his brother. Them posts he be uploading about him the best host in the world and all that ain't got nothing to do with me. They say that's for potato. Now whatever potato is doing um Ruju in this Laplace, they say it's really pissing Ruju off. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't know what's going on. I got the proof. Leave me alone. Stop trying to throw crosses with me and these people. 
I'm trying to elevate more and more in 2024. Stop sending me stuff trying to make me beef with people. Now listen, the biggest part of the century is this upcoming Saturday. We want y'all to come in there and have fun. We go cut up, we go sing, we go act crazy. We got some performers. Let's go come and perform. Um, yeah, we, we, we lit this Saturday. I hope to see all y'all there. We got to act crazy. We got to act crazy. I'm putting that shit on. Real life grown man shit. I'm putting that shit on for real. So I, I, I hope to see y'all there. Um, I'm going to upload a few things that, that were sent to me because, you know, Instagram make it to where you can't show you can't show videos on live anymore. So I'm going to have to just upload it and then go back live and see what I heard it was about.